create spaces and times where there was no space and time before. So now you've got no particles, no radiation, no space, no time. That sounds like nothing. But then you might say, well, you know what? You've got the laws of physics. You've got the laws of nature. The laws themselves are somehow something, although I would argue, in fact, that that is not at all obvious or clear or necessary. But even there, it turns out physics potentially has an answer. Because we now have good reason to believe that even the laws of physics themselves are kind of arbitrary. There may be an infinite number of universes, and in each universe uh, that's being created, the laws of physics are different. It's completely random. And the laws themselves come into existence when the universe comes into existence. So there's no pre-existing fundamental law. Anything that can happen does happen. And that, therefore, you've got no laws, no space, no time, no particles, no radiation. That's a pretty good definition of nothing. I, I personally don't like the word right and wrong uh, because for different people, right and wrong looks very different. I think that it can be coached in a little bit of a different way. Uh, so I like to look at things that work or they don't work. I believe that human beings fundamentally want life to flourish. We love and when we see life flourish, be it a new flower or a tree sprouting in the springtime or any beautiful new thing that we experience, a new baby. It's, it's just, we love it. And we have a really positive feeling towards when life flourishes. Uh, so right and wrong gets it very much into a mental status. And we compare to a whole list of what we think is good for life and what we think is bad for life. Uh, but underlying, I think it's much more interesting to pay attention to whether something works to have life flourish or not.